Hey folks, Roland here, the new episode of In the Hot Seat. Returning guest, Devin Clark. Hello. He's back. In black. Oh, even though that's a dark purple. It's just a dark brown. brown. Yeah, it looks black. You wouldn't even be able to tell on the camera. Don't worry about it. It looks black from here. It looks black from there. We're doing something a little special today. We're doing, uh, this. Why don't you get a look at that, Mrs. Camera Woman? Alright. This has been kind of a, almost a grail quest over the last couple of years. Um, Paul can back us up on this one. <laughs> Real wasabi. Most wasabi in uh, sushi restaurants throughout the U.S. is basically a flavored packaged horseradish. There's yeah. no actual real wasabi in it. Um, so I was very surprised going through uh, Whole Foods Market the other day to find this. We get a lot of stuff from Whole Foods. I love that place. Real wasabi. First ingredient, wasabi. wasabi. Real wasabi. Yeah. Um, it is mixed with a little horseradish and sugar. Yeah, uh, what's, what else is it mixed in there? Want to say that ingredient out loud there, buddy? What, rapeseed? Rapeseed. <laughs> I, thought it was a, I thought it was a misprint that they forgot the G. <laughs> nope. Rapeseed. Take that, Asia. <sighs> but scary. hopefully this will uh, be different than yeah. packaged wasabi. This is from the, uh, yeah, I mean, pff, the package, it basically, yeah, it's horseradish. Uh, this is sashimi brand, super frozen, fresher than fresh, sushi at home, real wasabi. And it's very, very specific about the way you're supposed to prepare this. It says on the back here, do not remove from the freezer 30 minutes prior to use. And it's like, says it in big letters, like, it's like, like if you do this, you're going to ruin it, and it won't be as good. That's the main reason the wasabi's not imported is because once it's exposed, once it's ground up, it basically deteriorates yeah. within a very small amount of time. This comes so. in, yeah, 10 small packets. Shut up, Bugaboo. He wants whatever we're having. He's a little corn dog there. Uh, yeah, it's these little packets here, and they say once it's squishy, you can try it. Now here's what we're going to do. We're going to try, as is, um, on a spoon, just to get a flavor of what that wasabi tastes like by itself, and then we're going to try it on the way it's supposed to be tried, on sushi. So, how are we supposed to open this sucker? Oh, just tear at the end. Oh, wait, it does open up, yep. I gotta say, it looks a little bit different. Ooh, it smells good. <laughs> it smells like fishy horseradish. Uh, yeah, there is still an element of horseradish on there. I have a lisp, so I have horseradish. Oh. I want to get a look at that there. Just kind of looks like, uh, so far it just looks like the same kind of horseradish, we, uh, the same kind of wasabi we get in restaurants, maybe a little less green food coloring. You ready for this? Let's do it. Paul, this one's for you. For science. The texture is completely different. Mm. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! Holy! <laughs> Tweety Bob! Oh my god! <laughs> wow! That actually bad. is awesome. That's, I mean, that that is. It's a, wow! That we were hits we were you. really worried coming into this that it was just going to taste like the regular mm. the regular wasabi. No, you can taste the difference. In the that. Te the texture is different too. It actually it's little grainy bits that uh, little chewy bits in there too. The 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 heat well, though it's like whoa, goes through your sinuses like a friggin' tornado. Like the other wasabi always has that powdery kind of texture. This yeah. really feel, like you can feel that that is ground up. It's root ground in up there. root. Yeah. Oh man. Wow. And it hits you. <laughs> I mean, it, if the flare goes away... Right well, up your nose. Right up your nose. The flare goes away after about 10 seconds, but wow, that's really hot. I am dying to try this on one of these sushi pieces. I'll grab one of these suckers here. Right. Just kind of rips in half, and then you put out half on one side and half on the other. Oh, He's got the uh, pink s chopsticks because he's a delicate little lady friend. Yeah. Not, not actually supposed to eat sushi with chopsticks. Yeah, well, I can't eat them with a spoon, so what the hell am I supposed to do? Be a savage? Savage is fun. For science.
that is so like it hits it's you. so different right up right up your nostrils like <coughs> oh yeah literally one of these packets is a serving maybe a little bit more than a serving oh you only put a part of one out there hmm. all right I'll go back for seconds a bunch of times I think this is the first time I'm going back for thirds because this is phenomenal Whole Foods, you know? That overpriced hippie store that everybody busts on? Uh, check it out. <laughs> They're, uh, not bad. Wow, my nose is just, like, it feels like it's going to start turning into a faucet here. Oh, man. It's got the roll around there, too. This is like, I love sushi, too. This is my favorite. Oh. <coughs> mm. <coughs> oh. That's good. <laughs> you know, I almost got away with it. that one. I, that one almost didn't get me. It's like, you can just feel it. It's like, rumble, 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 and it goes at the back, and then it's kind of like, Aah! Yeah, this oh. is one of those finds that just makes me truly happy, because this is so, yeah, just, Paul, seriously, <laughs> Whole Foods, Whole Foods. <laughs> check it out. I mean, it's probably, I mean, obviously it's got some wasabi in it. I mean, some horseradish in it, so it's not true 100%. Wasabi, but it's night and day compared to the crap that we've been getting. That's sweet too. That's something I never picked up on the American mm. one. What is there? Is a, a sugar in there? Hmm. This is the rest of the episodes are gonna be us eating sushi. Gross. Yeah, she doesn't like sushi. You're missing out. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put a little bit more from one of these spent packages in this one. You should tell them your favorite part about eating roe. Oh, yeah, come on. People out there who eat sushi, back me up here while he's dying. The roe, the fish eggs that they put on the outside of sushi, isn't the best part, like... Oh, your friend dying on <laughs> film. Isn't the best part, like, five minutes after you're done eating, just kind of like fishing out one of the little eggs out the corner of your mouth and then popping it with your teeth? If I'm right, and you like that, please put a comment below. I want to show Danielle that that is like the whole reason why you put that it That is low. good, yeah. <laughs> mm. To be go, so good. Mm. I didn't put as much on that time, so I'm not dying, but it's still pretty flary. Well, yeah, definitely a thumbs up. Definitely a thumbs up. Go to Whole Foods, look up real wasabi. It's obviously not 100% real wasabi. It's in the, uh, just so they know, it's in the frozen fish section with their new, um, they have a new line of sushi stuff. Yeah. So it's actually, you're actually going to find it in a frozen case over near the fish counter. And, uh, yeah, it definitely gets a thumbs up. I mean, one of these days I'd like to actually go to the place and get the actual thing that's not diluted in any way. And then have my entire science passages just fall out of my head. But for now, that's the closest thing we're going to get. Thank you so much for bringing that to our attention. Not a problem. That was a great... Great treat, and uh, yeah, I'm keeping the rest of these, so screw you guys. <laughs> All right, well, this has been an excellent episode of In the Hot Seat. Thank you, Devin, and anything to say as we're passing out here? Ah, just check this stuff out. It's good. I'll give it two of these. All right, folks, we will see you next episode.